My name is Elizabeth Murphy, and I'm Associate Professor here in the Faculty of Education at Memorial University. And I was the 2007-2008 winner of the President's Award for Outstanding Research. And my research is kind of situated between at the junction between teaching practices on one hand, and that could be anywhere from primary to post-secondary, and then on the other hand, the use of new and emerging technologies. And kind of very broadly speaking, what I've been interested in trying to understand is how the use of these technologies can result in transformation uh, and innovation in teaching practices. And my research pretty much uh, crosses over a lot of different subject areas. Uh, for example, recently I did a study of language learning with uh, elementary, stu elementary students in different classes around the province. And uh, those students were studying French as a second language, and I used synchronous uh, commu online communication tools. That means communicating in real time. And what I found there is that students were uh, much more willing to communicate in French using those technologies because of the anonymity that they afforded. Um, I also served as the external evaluator for the Music Grid uh, project, and that was a multi-million dollar project that uh, pioneered uh, organizationally and geographically diverse uh, communication and collaboration using music, music as a vehicle and using uh, broadband. I conducted as well the Telesat uh, multimedia satellite trials for this province and that used a lot of different uh, subject areas. One area in which I've done a fair bit of research is in uh, online discussions. There's a fair bit of hype in the literature about how uh, online discussions can promote all sorts of benefits like higher order thinking skills, but there isn't really a whole lot of empirical evidence about how or why discussions actually do that. So I've done uh, research to determine, for example, how we can identify and promote things like uh, critical thinking, uh, problem solving, and metacognition in uh, these discussions. And in the context of that research, I also became interested in methodological issues uh, related to the analysis of transcripts of online discussions. So I wanted to come up with a way to, uh, to systematically and reliably analyze those discussions for evidence of students' engagement in things like problem solving and uh, uh, critical thinking. In terms of uh, theory and theoretical frameworks, I've used activity theory to see how new and emerging technologies can actually disrupt pedagogical practices that are really kind of deeply rooted in, in social, cultural, and historical traditions. Uh, right now, I'm using uh, a research validated framework uh, out of the United States from the American Psychological Association called the Learner-Centered Learner Principles. And while those principles have been fairly widely used in all sorts of contexts of uh, teaching and learning all over the world, they haven't really been tested much in technology context. And what I'm interested in is understanding how we can operationalize those in, in technology context. And what, what I mean by operationalize is, you know, so that we can see, well, what does it really mean and what does it look like to be learner-centered uh, when you're using technology? In terms of dissemination of my research, I've tried to engage in what's referred to as uh, knowledge mobilization. So I've tried to really go beyond simply uh, publishing in peer review journals. And I've been using a lot of social media, uh, blogs, uh, wikis, and particularly uh, YouTube. And finally, I guess uh, uh, I've encountered some challenges, like, like any researcher. Uh, one of these relates to the fact that uh, uh, you know, when you're using new and emerging technologies or when you're researching them, you're always aim aiming at a moving target because they're constantly uh, changing. 
And one of the other challenges I faced is, is really the competition. And when I started, uh, when I got my PhD in educational technology in 2000, you know, there weren't as many people uh, doing research in, in, in these areas, for example, in online discussions. Now, 10 years later, you know, everyone is doing is doing research in this area. So it's a little bit hard to compete, uh, a little bit harder to compete, particularly at the international level. However, I think I have managed to uh, uh, compete, you know, based on uh, my ability to get uh, published in, in good international journals, and I've had a few, uh, I've done a few keynotes internationally. So I think actually I, I have been managing to uh, compete at that level, and I guess uh, the President's uh, Award for Outstanding Research is uh, recognition of that achievement and, 